Okay, YouTube, this is what I got so far. I got the inverter in. It's up and running. I got my battery switched over to 48 volts, which they used to be 24 volt bank. Uh, I got one, two, three, four, four different banks of four. So this is 12, 24, and two more be 48. Uh, I got it coming out of the batteries going through here and right there it keeps it from running the batteries down too low so once it get down to a certain level I got to set it set at 70% it'll automatically shut the power to the inverter keep it from draining the batteries down right now it's about two o'clock in the day and uh, it's pretty much running off the solar panels panned up up there it's holding right at 49.7 but just a second ago it was up to 52 now I think it was 50.2 just a second ago so a little cloud or something must have came through or something outside but how it's wired up is I have this conductor right here it's actually called a um, can't think of the name of it right now but what it does is when it get 24 volts it let the power go through I came off my central air unit outside with this brown wire right here plugged it into there so when the central air unit comes on it kicks this conductor on and let the power go through now this right here what it does is like I said it keeps it from running the batteries down at night time once it get down to 70% and shut it off. Seems to be working pretty good. Everything is doing what it's supposed to. I'm going to take you outside and show you the meter. And then I'll turn the unit off and I'll show you what the meter's doing with it off. It's not completely stopping the meter, but it's slowing it down dramatically. But let me take you outside and show you.